Looks like we're alive. I hope we have a lot of people that are just like at home today, chilling, wanting to see some stuff. I know it's been a while. Okay. Hey, Shy. Tamara. Cheryl, so many of our favorite people are here. Okay, let's go live early in the day. Yes, we go. Oh my god, this is so... Let's speak up louder. I'm not talking to them. You guys just chill out for a second. I don't understand what, what's the difference if I'm standing two, three feet right here and you're, like, I'm... I don't get that. Hey, Diane, Petra, Megan. And you're not going to be able even to have a mic on your phone. They don't make that. What do you mean they don't make it? Hey, that's what the guy was saying at, at off the seat or at, at uh, Best Buy. They don't make wireless, like, for that. But they make them that plug into the this thing, the plug. I found them on Amazon. Oh, I didn't know that. Cheryl said I'll stay awake this time. It's 8 p.m. where Tamara is. All right, so what we want to do is so we don't have to do this twice. That's awesome, Brenda. So we don't have to... I don't like it when... Should we just when we put the resin on? Just make sure it sinks. No, yeah. It's going to float. We can put it under some clear, though, like we did on the marble table. I'm just saying. Or do you want to just glue it down to this? Yeah. Okay. Do you want the gold leaf glue? Uh, whatever glue, we'll just use spray glue, right? Just... But hers are, like, sprinkled on, so it's not like it's lines. Yeah. The remix. Diane says, don't listen to Best Buy, guys. Well, he had bought three of the mics that we were looking at. Maybe, I don't know, who knows. She says her husband is an IT guy and he's researching the best mic for us. So, awesome. Diane, I just need it to be able to hook into my iPhone. I just need it to be iPhone adaptable, whether it's a plug. It's an iPhone 10, so I don't have an... Like the aux option. Well, I guess I could use the adapter, but. The Sprint girl texted me and wanted to know what, what time I was coming by tomorrow. And I want to text her and be like, I've been thinking. Can I go to. Can I switch? I've always had a Sprint. Like maybe they're, maybe they're working on it, so it'll be better. You can ask them when their oh, service is going to get better. When is their service going to get better? Can I know that? Um, Lou, I would love to see your experiments. Michelle asks if we, anyone's ever used liquid glass epoxy. I haven't. I would be interested to see how that that is, though. What's up, Marcy? She said, hello. I'm watching from work because I'm devoted like that. Well, that is amazing. Blue Eyed Mom Shell said, I got a live notification. I was rewatching your large resin pour from the other night, and now I have this on my phone and the other video of yours on my laptop. Awesome. That's amazing. Susan Kelly is sipping on a Bacardi and Coke. That's good. What's up, Keisha? Yes, Sharon, we will be here two times today. Cheryl, thank you so much. We really appreciate that. Megan, Bluetooth is amazing, but from the ones that we saw at something, Best Buy, they didn't have, yeah. didn't have anything Bluetoothy. Denise, are you from Dallas? Are you in Dallas? 
Megan said switch to AT&T. So are we going to use this or are we going to use that new stuff? Um, whichever you want to do. We could try the new stuff. We haven't given that a shot yet. Whatever you're comfortable with. I know, Nora. Welcome to ATD Daytime Edition. This stuff. I like, I don't mind this stuff, but God, their resin is so thick. It's, it's just about annoying. You're not worried that you'll melt that bottle? Well, I'm not going to keep it on there. I'm just putting some heat in there and get it a little loose. Mmm. Hey, Misty. Judy! Morning, Amy. Mary Jane, you're going to love pouring with resin. Oh, Pebbles, Forney is not far from us. I think, didn't we go there for something not too long ago? Forney? Yeah. How was dinner last night? Don't ask her directions. You don't know where she's at. That's true. I'm the worst. How was your dinner last night? Um, we didn't eat a lot. I was over. No. Um, so dinner last night was super simple. We just ate some chicken and fell asleep on the couch and then went to bed. Was wondering if any of the Mahan powers work. Amy, are you talking about Mayron powders? Denise is in Carrollton, close to Nebraska Furniture Mart. Dangerous. We love Nebraska Furniture Mart. Let us know when you come down. We're, we're going to do a class June 2nd and 3rd. If you are interested, shoot us an email, thornton at artisttilldeath.com, two T's, two L's. You should get a mini crock pot to put your resin in. It helps. We have a huge crock pot because I make chili sometimes in the winter. Marcy's in McKinney. E, do you remember my class project? I uploaded my A in color and composition. Also, be nice if you look. I'm Native American, so if my art looks weird. I will look you up, Shy, and I don't think anything Native American art is weird. Hello, John. Keisha, welcome. Amy, no worries. Actually, I'm pretty positive that Jeff and I are the ones that brought Mayron to the resin world. And they do work. They work great. We have um, three of their colors, and we use them pretty frequently. You, they're very different because they're actually a body paint that we put in resin. So it's kind of, it's way different, and it, it's really unique looking. Austin's here, B. What's up, Austin? Austina, what we used to call him. Austina, or the moose. Those are very different. He's at or work. The, the lowrider, the lowrider club that, that uh, I used to do a lot of uh, mural work that I was in. They called him Austin Healy. That's a car. Austin Healy? Yeah, it's a type of Car. That's fun. So he's at work watching the time go by slow. So, so slow. <laughs> he's moving today. Dan wants to know how the pieces from last night turned out. Um, Barbara's mini turned out amazing. This turned out also amazing. Leveled off perfectly. And so we are going to put this piece up for sale soon. After Not I for sale soon. Oh. After I, I get the little... no the mini. 
Were y'all live last night? I didn't get a notice. Sheila, we were live last night. You know we go live at 8 p.m. our time most nights. I'm sorry you didn't get a notification. When I pour resin, there are dry spots when it dries. Why, is the, why does this happen? All right, here's what usually causes that, Andy. Either you aren't using enough resin or you may have heated certain spots a little bit too much and the resin kind of bakes to the canvas. Um, I've, I've had that happen a lot when I've overworked a piece. So are you talking about dry spots or is it more like a fisheye? Like, is it small? Do we have any pieces with a fisheye still? So I can I show. So we did this piece a while back and you can see maybe right here on the edges, it's kind of, it's not perfectly smooth. It's kind of dry and textured looking. There you go, you can see it there, the spot. That is from overworking the resin and not having enough resin on the canvas. But if they're like little pinhole, like small, perfectly round pieces, then um, that's called a fish eye. Let me know which you're talking about. Misty, you're on the way to the beach. I'm jealous. Misty, you wanted that, um, the teal dragon from two days ago, right? Marcy, I know it is the sea foam and gold palette. It is one of my favorites. Beat John likes your hat. Thanks, John. Amy, you'll really like the Mayron. Keep in mind, you don't need that much. It will take over. Hey, Clara. Andrea, welcome. Can you fix the overworked burn spot? You can, you just have to sit down and do a flood coat. What's up, Sonia? Doesn't Resi Blast do that also or leave bumps? What Resi Blast does is it um, makes resin disperse. And so it'll make something that looks kind of like this. It's just little fish eyes because it's kind of oil-based. Funny story, Eli Kim, who does Mastercast one-to-one -one and um, Resi Blast, contacted us the other day and asked if we would try some of their products. So they sent us their new and improved Resi Blast. This is our the old one. I don't know if they fixed the formula, but will you show a close-up of the gold in the resin before he pours it? I will. So this is the old Resi Blast, not a fan. They just sent us, wait, where's the new Resi Blast? Oh, it's here. This is the new stuff. Um, this is the old. And I don't know if the formula is different or not, but this, this stuff is more trouble than it's worth, in my opinion. However, I'm going to try this and see if there's an improvement. I think this is just too strong, and it just does 
too much. If you've ever used it, then you know exactly what I mean. It's just too much. So I'm going to try this. Um, I have hopes because it, it looks like they're very specific in the uses for it now. So I'm hoping that they reformatted it a little bit. Um, it does look just slightly different in terms of flow. So I, we're going to try this. It would be nice if you can explain, if you could tell us the materials. And I thought I did it first. I think it was yesterday or the day before. Um, so we're doing a, what is this called? The sea foam? The sea foam and gold. We use uh, ocean mist. I think the original one that we did, it was called Seafoam. Yeah, the original one was Seafoam. It's been discontinued. This is a very good. Very nice, subtle Seafoam by Rust-Oleum. Um, and then we use the Rust-Oleum Gold. Metallic. Metallic. And what I've done is you spray it into a paper cup. Make sure you use a paper cup. And when you spray it, you spray it at an angle. So it just kind of goes around and you're not spraying it. It doesn't spit out at you everywhere. Um, and then you pour it into your resin. Did you pour it in there already? Yeah. Requested to see what that looks, what like. looks like. You might need some muck. Sorry for all the movement, y'all. Did you shake this up a lot? Yeah, I know. It looks like it's gonna be really dark, doesn't it? It does look really dark. Maybe we need to add more gold into it. I added two of gold. Usually it's a lot brighter. This might be an old can. What does the actual gold look like? It's supposed to look like this. If you spray your spray paint into the can, into your cup, and it looks a little gritty, then you didn't shake it up enough. Do you want me to mix more into this? Andrea, I see you. Andrea said, oh wait, I gotta go Rio and say Sir on live. Just kidding. <laughs> to be clear, we have zero problems with Rio and say They are doing great on their own. They have a great fan base. A lot of ours overlap and they're doing their own thing. They're being themselves and that's not everything. It's for everybody. It's a little bit loud, I guess, for me. Well, I watched them the other day, a, uh, a video, and the only thing that I kind of was concerned about is they were like, the guy was, what, what do you call it when you like, wasn't making fun, but he was like mocking people asking questions. What, what about this and what, and I was like, that's really not cool, like what if, he mocked a question that somebody actually asked, and I didn't. I didn't think that was very cool. But to him, his own. Um, that's the only problem that I have with, with them. I didn't. I didn't appreciate that kind of thing. Yeah, that wasn't. I mean, people ask questions because they don't know. So why not take the time to answer it? They came to you for an answer. Anyways. What's up, Jojo? Go take a nap. How do you determine the amount of resin you will need for a pour? Nicole, there is a calculator on Art Resin's website that may help you out. At this point, we just eyeball it. I wish I had a formula to give you, but it wouldn't be that accurate. 
Misty, I didn't see an email up until like 11 this morning. I may have missed it. I will check our spam folder. Pebbles wants to know what material is that made of? I haven't done any pores yet, but I'm soaking up info on them. Um, are you asking about what the substrate is? This is a Lazy Susan, it's just wood. Andrew says, I'm kind of in a text fight with a guy who sells Resi Blast about his product, which I have had bad luck with, as well as many others. He thinks it's the balls. I disagree. Here's the thing. It gives you fish eyes, and you 100% every time have to clean it off your surface and start over. It's, it's just a lot to have to do. I mean, it is a cool effect, but... I don't know. Maybe they change their formula. I'm going to do a test and find out. I think we're going to get fish eye in this because of that paint. I know that's why. Because it's gloss. Yeah, but... Yeah. Andy, I hope that does help. All you have to do to fix those dry spots is um, just sand it, sand your piece down with like a 400 or even... I wouldn't go more than a 220 grit sandpaper and then do a clear coat, be good to go. What's up, DJ Dixie Darlin? Ooh, I got dizzy. All right, so what do you do? It still leaves pits, me? that's unfortunate. Man, like, there's no way I'm gonna put that in this. This is like, I'm gonna have to make new, because I have zero. Well, I can do that. I can use this. Give me that other gold. All right, see that. Please. Sorry, I'm gonna have her give me some different gold. So the gold that we have is probably a little bit older. We've had that can for a while. So in its place, we're gonna use this Montana black gold. It is, I don't know if you can see the name up here because it's not up there. It's just gold by Montana Black. What's up, Megan? Thank you for tuning in. Which community Facebook group do you recommend? I can never remember Susanna's group, but I'm sure one of the other lovely viewers will post. It's like Fluid Art Community with Susanna Danks or something like that. I can't remember. Jody, you can use any spray paint brand. We use Rust-Oleum a lot because it's readily available to everybody. So. I wonder if it's this epoxy. Uh, I is that think it's just I think that's why we have so much in here because it was so different when we when they changed the caps mm -hmm. I feel like they changed the, the paint a little bit I don't know maybe it's just but that just doesn't look like our normal it's a little bit brown yeah and dull um, so you can use any spray paint um, Diane asked if we let the sea foam dry we spray paint it and let that dry and then we also mix some seafoam into the resin as well. Andrea, that was funny though. Sonia, Aram is who sent us the Resi Blast and I told him I would review it. He also sent us some silver metal pigment powder and um, some resi metal something or other. So I think this is a liquid and the other one's a powder. So we're gonna do both of those tonight probably with the resin he sent us to try for everybody. Andrea, you're good. We're here to joke with you too.
Just wondering, I did a painting and I covered it with art resin, but it ended up with bubbles and spots that didn't get covered. I think because my canvas wasn't tight enough. Can I fix it? Yes. Here's what you need to do. You need to sand down your canvas with a 220 or a 400 grit sandpaper. Wipe it off with a 91% alcohol. And then you have to do a flood coat of resin. You ended up with dry spots probably because you didn't put enough resin down. So you're going to need to make a little bit more. And the bubbles are from, uh, you have to use a heat gun to pop those bubbles. Like this one, or you can also use a torch. I hope that helps. Andrea said, we didn't overlap, we abandoned ship. Jetty says, I'd be disloyal. I feel like I would be disloyal if I checked them out. Good, check them out. I mean, they're great with color. It's all acrylic pores as well. I keep forgetting I can turn this. <laughs> What's up, Rick? Oh, Andrew said the formula to figure out how much resin you need is length times width times 0.03, and that gives you the number of ounces to make. That is amazing, Andrea. Thank you. One to one is not enough time for me. I, I feel like I heard it had a good open time, but I will check it out and let you guys know. John said, so yesterday you went to use a Michaels canvas and noticed that you were checking to make sure all four corners touched the table. It wobbled and then you decided to put it away. Is there <laughs> a trick to get all to touch? I'm not talking about leveling. Here's the thing, John. Sometimes the way canvases are made, the wood gets warped. We're being PG. And so if you lay a can, we do that a lot of times when we buy individual canvases from um, anywhere. We'll lay the canvas on the floor and make sure all four corners touch. It's a little bit more difficult to do when you buy a bulk pack. So we end up doing it here. And if it all four corners don't touch, we, one of our sticks. we won't use it. What size? It's the smallest one. When you do these, these gold veins, Put the gold in there and blow it around, you know, make it do some selling. If you want it to show up a little bit more, and if you have a little extra, just put the extra gold paint, just put it in there, mix it just a little bit so, so you can see it's still a little bit more gold. You can see that? Mm -hmm. And then uh, you can use one of our handy dandy stir sticks and just follow the inside of your your lacing just like just gives it a little bit extra just, depth yeah it gives it well what it'll do is it'll that will stay on top and it'll be shiny gold yeah when you mix metallics spray paints into resin sometimes it takes a little bit of the sheen away and so when you do it like this it it puts it back Gigi said you can get cool effects with 99% alcohol and you don't have to clean off the oil residue. That is a good tip. I tell him to speak up, Judy. I'm, I'm trying to speak up. <laughs> I am. I promise. I apologize. Ooh, she gonna love this. Misty says Jeff should blow with the airbrush. By the way, mine comes in tomorrow. We we've done that. The only problem with that is it's such a pinpoint little. It'll what it'll do is it'll just hit that and just blow it out. Like if you blow it with like your mouth or maybe a straw, you can kind of get a a, a little bit more control. But with the airbrush. I guess if you held it way back, you could kind of do it, but it, you know, it just, 
that comes out in such a you know straight little line that Leah looks great. Gold mica will work. I'm like super happy with this right now. All right, now what we're gonna do is put some. Um, one of those gold leaf on there. No, Amy. Um, I was watching the test using acrylic with FX epoxy and was wondering if it reacts like that with all acrylics. It does not. FX epoxy does do well um, with most acrylics. We just added a little bit too much and uh, we left it in the bucket for too long. If you use a lot of resin, you have to get it out of the bucket as soon as possible because that will make it heat up and set super quick. Which resin did they send you? Um, it was Mastercast. We can you pick that up? Or I'll get it. I don't like that they used like there's really not a tip for this little <laughs> Like, you'd almost want to paint the top of one of these so you know the difference. Mm hmm But they sent us these. It's Mastercast one-to-one. -one, and we're going to be testing those tonight. Thank you, B. Thoughts on teaching lessons? Someone recently inquired about learning hands-on. Megan, we're doing um, a classroom here on the 2nd and 3rd of June, if you would like to come to it. Please send us an email, thornton at artistilldeath.com, two T's, two L's, and I will send you all the info on the classes. What's up, CJ? Is there any way to make those artworks matte? You can, we have um, done countertops before that they wanted a matte finish rather than the gloss. And so you can get the polycrylic in matte and just paint it over top after it's already set for a couple days. Just do a thin coat of the matte polycrylic and the piece will be matte. Shy, you're not going to have internet for four days. What's up, D? I like it. The good thing about this gold leaf, like it looks like there's not a lot, but there's it's all really smashed together and it's like in little bunches. You can just peel it, just get really little subtle parts. Lisa says, I just finished five Lazy Susans for my juried art fair at the end of the month. They're 18 inches, not sure how to price them. I was thinking 60 to 70. Is that too much for an art fair? What, how many, how long did you spend on them? I guess the art fair, that's the problem with art fairs. Like, you, you have to take stuff that, that people are gonna wanna just buy and take with them. You, you don't make something like this and expect to get, you know, $100 when it should go for $100. Do coasters. Yeah, do coasters. Um, do, you know, magnets for the refrigerator or something the thing um, is people just want to leave with something when it comes to art fairs so make small things that they can just pick up and put in their pocket basically you would be surprised at how much income you can turn we pay for our entire three-day booth all the expenses that we put in and just coasters alone the last art fair that we did um however they like to mix and match in terms of is that enough for 
an 18 inch Lazy Susan. Um, our fears are difficult to price. I would set what you want to get from them the first day and then adjust as the fair goes on. Um, how long did it take you to do them, by the way? Also, Amy, send them an email and let them know that they only sent you books and they will send you a box of the testers from Torganol. I would probably price higher than $70, to be honest. I think, how much do we charge for these? Uh, well, this was originally supposed to be a small one, just a, just a, a color. When we first got them, because she, she brought them for us. Mm -hmm. This is for Tommy Don. Um, okay, but for the ones we charged her, what do we? I feel like it was like 150 because she brought us um, some Lazy Susans of our own to have. Thank you, Becky. Denise asked how we like art resin. Just received some and found out they're based in Carrollton. They are actually like just manufactured in Carrollton and they are like actually, actually in Canada, I think. I think Greg was going to go by and see if he can get into that that office and see. However, we do like art resin. My favorite part of art resin is that it has super long working time. My least favorite part about art resin is that Jeff has a bad reaction to it and his he gets resin rash from it. Also, the price tag is not fun. What's up, ideas? Lisa, that's awesome. She has jewelry and coasters also made. Ideas, have you added us on uh, Instagram or Facebook? How much do coasters go for? Leah, if we are just making them and they're just surplus coasters, then we sell them five a piece, mix and match. If we make a set with someone's particular colors, then it is $40 for a set. And if we do a lot of customizations like decals and underlays and things like that, then it can be $50, $60 for a set of four. Where did you get the Lazy Susan? Um, the girl that commissioned the piece brought it to us. She got it from Ikea for $10. Oh yeah, she did get them from Ikea for $10. Yeah. Diane, what resin do you recommend to make coasters? You need to have one that has a high heat tolerance. So we we usually just make them with whatever we have left over, but we'll coat them in um, the countertop epoxy FX so that they have the heat tolerance to handle like a cup of coffee or whatever. Ron, nice. better late than never. She said it took me about an hour and a half the first day and did, then did a flood coat two days later. Yeah, I would definitely mark them over 100. Ron, I'm sorry your first pour last night sucked. Send us a photo. We can see how we can improve. Send us a photo so we can make fun of you. Lies. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What canvas size was the one that Jeff did the commission work last night? That was an 8 by 24. I am super happy with this. Like, Are you done? Can I, I get a close-up? Like, so long. It's so subtle and like it's so classy. Not giving a fuck. Hey, language. I didn't say anything. But you did. Changing. It'll look so much better in the sunlight when the gold catches oh, it's just, it's the just light. So subtle, like, like that right there. And what I don't like is what, what what I'll have to do? That looks really nice. Can they see that? See up? See guys? You can see where the gold in the gold paint, not the gold leaf, but the gold paint. Super thin lines. That's what we do with our sticks. 
It's called, uh, well, not not a lot of it, but there is some of it that does that. Because it's like in the little tiny parts, too. You can see it. Um, but that's why that gold is so amazing. Mm -hmm. It'll look really good in the sun. Because it floats up to the top. I'm going to have to put a flood coat on this because of the, of, what do you call it? Goldie. Yeah. It just floats. How do you finish the back of the circle coasters? We sand them down and spray paint them and put a coat of polyacrylic on it so it seals in the uh, since it's paper. Is there another resin that can match art resin with not yellowing over time? Um, I hear that Promarine has a similar formula. I don't have actual facts on that, so I will have to look it up and let you know, Amy. What did Jeff just ask me? My video skipped. Would you ask ideas? Oh, if he added us on Instagram or not, I wanted to show him a, a lip piece that we did um, that actually Wu Tang, one of their Wu Tang official Instagrammers shared. Yeah. It's a lip piece. He wanted to know if you follow us on Instagram. When you do coasters, do you put anything under them to keep them from scratching? We do. Let me show you the bottom of some of our finished coasters. I don't know if there's any over there. The square ones there. Oh. These are little felt bumpers that you can get from like Home Depot. Um, they're, I think they're in the cabinet aisles because they're to keep cabinet doors from slamming but this is cheaper than cork and just as effective from keeping anything from getting scratched so and they're not expensive for like hundreds What is the most affordable resin to start with? Crystal, um, when we first started, we were um, using Envirotex Light from, did you just bust a glove? Busted a glove. We used Envirotex Light from um, Michael's because it was the cheapest because they have the 40% off, 50% off coupons. Leah, you should totally start doing resin art. Is Jeff going to add purple to that Lazy Susan? Diane, unfortunately, no. I love purple, but the client specifically asked for the seafoam look. Ron, I will look for it on Twitter. Austin said, tell Jeffrey I need some coasters for the apartment. You'll get some coasters, buddy. Everybody say hi to Austin. That's my son. <laughs> I like to think about them bombarding him with eyes. Last time they did. The, John, this is also 8x24. It's the same size as the one you were asking about. How much does something like this go for? It's absurdly stunning, Kaylee says. Well, this one was priced at like 150 I think, because she brought us the Lazy Susan to do. If we have to go get a Lazy Susan, it would adjust the cost depending on how much Lazy Susan is. Did you get pre-made blanks with the turntable mechanism? in place or did you add the mechanism? Clara, that um, Lazy Susan just, it came put together. It was just wood. CJ, I will check that out on Instagram today. Crystal, you can absolutely use mica in um, resin. I was told that last night's pour I did was the best yet. That's amazing. Judy's color obsession order just arrived, V. Woohoo! Hers or ours? Um, I think we have some um, samples in there from them too. That stuff is amazing looking.
He said he's not too savvy on Instagram. Ideas? Yeah, he said he's on there, but not too savvy on there. But he added you. Diana, flood coat is when you take clear, or you can like lightly tint it with like an ink, something very transparent, and just put it over the whole piece. Flood the piece, ultimately. That way everything's covered, the sides get evenly covered, and there will be no like dry spots. Cheryl said, I've ordered so much of what y'all recommend. I love all the information you share. It is our sincerest pleasure to help everybody to feel comfortable with resin art. It's very intimidating sometimes. And we're here to share the information and help people to be confident in making artwork. Art should be for everybody. Can you use craft paint and resin pours? You can, it doesn't work the best. It's not the best quality paint. And something Jeff told me when I first started was, what was it you said about your materials? You're only as good as your, your uh, worst materials. He said, you're only as good as your worst materials. So and that resonated with me. And ever since then, I'm like, I got to use this, this, and this. However, you definitely should start and practice with whatever you have available so you can get comfortable with the materials. Also, if you can make something beautiful with craft paint, then you can make something completely mind-blowing with the right products. Have you ever done a dip technique before? Is that when you like put something in like this kind of resin? Like, is that right? Everybody's saying hi to Austin. Flooded. <laughs> it's because there's a there's a gap. <laughs> there's like, a, a, what do you call it? No, I'm behind on reading. Oh. Is there a website for the Coasters and Lazy Susans? Kaylee, I will post a link for the um, the Coasters in the description box after this video post after we're done with the live, and I'll see if I can find a Still comparable there. Lazy Susan. Do I need to come over there? Yeah, because I want to steal one of these off. Okay. You just pick that up and... I could have. Um, this is all we do is, for the coasters, just put them on wax paper. And look. And they just come right off. That's the one I just did. Are you peeling another one? I did one? these last night. Oh. oh, here's one. And they just come right off. <laughs> That way you don't have all those drips on the bottom and it's easy to sand down and fix. You might like these too. These are from the purple. Shai wants to know if Austin's eyes are as pretty as his dad's. They are. These are the ones we made last night. Megan said, Austin, I hope you get your coasters. <laughs> Jeff will take care of. He's gonna move right down the street from me. I'm kind of excited about that. Hilliday just said, I just got here. I'm Jen. I watch your live streams often, but haven't jumped in on the chat. Thanks for sharing so much. What do you, when you do art fairs, do you post prices on your pieces? We do. Of course. We price um, initial prices on the pieces. Obviously, it's what we aim to make on the work, but there's always room for, will you, will you accept this or this or this? These are the coasters from last night with that Viva yeah. Petrol. Beautiful, beautiful. What are you going to pour now? Are you pouring again or are you going to work on the lip piece? Um, what do you think we should do? Do you have any more resin made? No. <laughs> then if the lip piece is dry, we should start that. Austin says his eyes are prettier. Say no. <laughs> it's true. Kathleen, good luck on your yard sale. What is Jeff making now? A mess. A mess. No, I'm just trying to clean up this area here. I'm glad you're here, Brenda. 
Austin said my initials are Art because Shy asked what his middle name was. Didn't we tell them that? Yeah. Yeah. Judy is correct. Don't undersell your artwork. Look at that. That's how, that's how, like, you could tell that the alcohol works on resin. Uh, 90% or higher. I know I just want to know what the R is for. Roman. Roman. It's not Randall. It's not Regina. Or Rochelle. Diane says, I just realized canvases that are cheap suck. All right, so what are we gonna do when we're on the lip? I got it all cut out too, so that's good. Amber, you found the wooden Lazy Susans yeah. at Ikea? So that is where they're from. That's what I said. I know, I'm just saying, we got, I got backup. Kim asks, what don't you like about Envirotex Light? So it, um, it only has about a 40 minute working time, which is not that bad, but it will yellow over time. I've seen independent tests done that show that. Moo, what are you doing? What are you doing? Were you taking a nap? You're such a good boy. Ultimately, Kim, um, I have no real issues with Envirotex Light since we use a lot of really pigmented color in our artwork. Whether it yellows or not, it's not gonna show. Unless we use a lot of white, obviously. Is our resin okay to make coasters for hot beverages? I have heard that it, it takes about a month for it to get cured enough to use for coasters. It's a very soft resin until about about a month in is what I heard. What? Art resin's pretty soft. Oh yeah. No. All right, you guys got any airbrush questions? Now is the time. They want to see you do true fire. That's a whole different setup. I know, but I know it's gonna come up. Ooh, that's a good view. Sue says, hi, Jeff and Erica. A great time for the UK to see a live pour in your awesomeness. Noted. What time is it? Two o'clock, I guess. This is the only thing that I hate about doing the white backgrounds is you cannot touch it. Especially Never. with that compressor on. What? I need you to turn your music up so you speak louder. Brenda, that's awesome. Mary Jane, I'd love to see your pour from last night. Bye, Megan. Give the kids a hug for us. So, people always want to know how you can cut that without... I've already cut this, so... Um, it's just a feeling like you, you can feel it cutting and then when you, when you have to put a lot of pressure on, stop and get a new X-Acto blade or you'll cut your canvas if you haven't done it. Mm. These X-Acto blades are very sharp um, and I would just, just get a new one if you feel like you have to push a little harder, so. What are your round coasters made out of? They're paper, actually. They're really, really, really compressed paper. And I wasn't sure if the resin would warp it. Turns out it doesn't. So that's what we use for some of the coasters now when we have extra resin. Um, they're from Inkfish and Company. It's like $14 for 100 off Amazon. I'll leave the link for that in the description box below this video. Amy, those are cool initials. Pricing is one of the biggest things I ha personally have issues with as well. It's so hard to put a price on your time and 
your emotional attachment to a piece sometimes. So I think that's something else that takes practice much like practicing painting. Judy said Cricket jumped up and got closer to the TV when Cujo came on. <laughs> what is an air gun? John, are you talking about the airbrush? What's up, Anthony Reed? Ideas? I'm sorry you're having a bad day. Judy, thank you. What's Judy doing over there? She gave us $2.99. Hey, we need a little bell. Need a little, little, little. The tip bell. Yeah. Missy, we're so glad that you love watching us and tuning in. Apparently, it's perfect time for the UK bee. Awesome. Erica, I saw a past video of a super-sized beach-like color canvas. Gorgeous. What does something like that size sell for approximately? Diane, can you be a little bit more specific? Was it one of our paintings? Was it a longer? Is she asking for, so she could price it or is she asking if she could buy one? Um, I don't know. I will find out. I know it, this looks very subtle, guys, but this is all masked off, and then when, when we take this off, you'll be able to tell a big difference. <laughs> Thank you so much, Misty. Dee says that's an amazing talent that not everyone can do. Thank you. Hi from Germany. My dad's from Germany. Judy said it's not just the cost of art materials, it's the cost of rent, electricity, usual <laughs> expenses, time and talent, which is all very accurate. Um, Diane, was it a longer painting that we did recently? Thank you for saying that, Miss McClendon. She said you're both talented and even more importantly, you're willing to share and mentor. Missy wants to know if the contact paper works better than Frisket. Yes, that's why I've, I've, I've used this ever since I started. I mean, I, I, Frisket is so thin and uh, if you're working on maybe illustration board and, you know, little stuff, um, you know, you could use it. I've just never worked really small and cut stuff out. Um, the thing with this stuff is it's a little bit thicker, so it's a little harder to cut, but it's, I love it and it's cheaper than Frisket. Dan said you sold it. You did it on the floor. It looked beachy. Do you think she's talking about the one from the OEP one? Was it a triptych? Was it three canvases? Your English is just fine. You guys are so kind. Thank you for all the kind words. Um, it looked like a 24 plus by four. <gasps> I think she's talking about the one that I kept. Probably. That's acrylic. That was one of a successful acrylic pours. Let me go see if I can find it, Diane. That's cute that she says, let me go see if I can find it because it's in her bathroom. <laughs> I'm baby.
Um, is this the one that you're talking about, Diane? Hi, Mel. Cheryl said, this is so incredible. I saw Jeff Mural on the wall he and you did, and it was so amazed. I think she's talking about Coyote Ugly. That was a good one. Yeah. It took two of you to work on. <gasps> Oh, she's talking about the concrete. No, she's talking about the concrete epoxy one. The frame one. Oh. Okay, I think I have the right one now. Are you talking about this one? Sorry about all the reflection. Oh man, that's like one big wave. Turn it sideways, turn it, yeah. That looks like a wave, babe. Holy crap, I never looked at it like that. No, the other, the other way. way. It looks like it's crashing down. Wow. That definitely needs to play though. Kind of wish we hadn't used this purple because it's textured. It definitely needs a flood coat. There are some bare spots. We didn't use enough resin on that one. Because of the table. Yeah. That table looks amazing too. We need to sell that table. We should just see if somebody wants to buy that table. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna do. I know, D, I kept that one like. I'm gonna show them what we're doing here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I cut this out and put it up here to save it. As you bring it back down and you do the lip shadow. You can kind of move it over if you want to give it some direction. But this is what you have to remember. We do have drips on this. So what I normally do is put the drip, where is that? Put the drip on this side of the drip. The shadow. Yeah, the shadow right here. So you could make the shadow of this. Slightly to the right. Slightly to the right, yeah. That way you have a consistent light source. I know I hid the one that my favorite one in the bathroom, my bathroom, because it's my favorite. And it was one of our successful acrylic pours. And you don't, you don't need a lot of paint when you do this either, or else you'll get a really hard line. It looks like I'm not straining anything, but I really am. <laughs> yeah, Diane, I haven't priced that one yet because it still needs a flood coat. Um, I don't know what we would price that one for. That one is a 24 by 48. So it would be into the thousand. Is that green pearlux emerald? I can't remember what we used in that, but there is a video. I speak English, German, and gibberish. That's fun. How do you price that size in wood canvas? I would recommend We just have a like an ish that we go off of like our 10 by 10 pieces are 75 base price and then we will adjust accordingly our um, 8 by 24s are 250 and we'll adjust. Um, it just all depends. 
if you send me what exact dimensions you're working on pricing, um, maybe I can help you. This one needs a second coat at least, so I can't price it until I have it completely done because I don't know what the cost of the piece is until it's done. Thank you, Christy. You should make an amazing offer. And then... I think she's just asking about how we price a piece uh, like that. Idea okay. said, ER, those are your lips. Jeff uses as a reference. Funny story, I draw the lips out. Yeah, you're gonna have to do the shadow now. Um, I painted in glitter instead of lips because my airbrush hadn't gotten here yet. LMAO red glitter. Um, what did it end up looking like? None of that was real words. I'd love to see it, Misty. Hello, Lillian. Misty, oh, Miss Erica Lee said, I ordered my boards online and severely overestimated. I ordered a couple 24 by 36 boards. Do you have any tips for working with a large canvas? Um, well, since they're boards, you don't have to stress about prepping them as you would if they were not boards, they were canvas. For 24 by 36, I would definitely recommend using an art resin or something that has a longer working time because it definitely takes longer to go through and work a piece that size. I mean, I wish we'd used art resin on that one and it's just a 24 by 24. What other tips? Um, I would use a heat gun over a torch because It's really hard to get an even heat. Mm, that doesn't make sense. It's really hard to heat evenly with just the little flame from a torch. But the good thing about using a torch is if you're doing a big table or a canvas or a countertop, you don't have the cord from the heat gun and you don't have to worry about it dragon or getting dirt into it and with a torch you just it's freehand and get as far as you can as far as you can get that's true artists have to make side money non-taxable in cash of course misty wants to know jeff did you use to tag um no but i do know how to use spray paint i've never uh, i taught myself how to use spray paint in a graffiti yard, but it was a, a it's called a free wall down in Deep Ellum. Um, I did get to know a lot of very wanted graffiti artists in Dallas, and they're all now professional artists. Um, but yeah, I, I, I know how to use spray paint, but I've, I've never con been considered a graffiti artist. I would never call myself a graffiti artist. Jody, you lost the feed? She said, stop, don't do anything cool. Did did they lose their link? They're still gone. Jody, let me know if you're not seeing anything else. I mean, I don't know. Is everybody else's feed fine? Austin said, we would go out to this place and tag walls for hours when I was younger, probably 14 years ago or so. Yeah, I always let him paint. He always wanted to paint too. Always paint with me. Rukan, Rukan, Rukan. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It says, I'm new to resin. I want to try it on a small canvas. Do I have to paint it first? I would definitely prep the canvas so it doesn't dip in the middle. We have a video of how to do that. Um, like a few months back that may help. I'll link it 
in the description box after this video posts. Andrea said, along with the poor people on here, I want everyone to be successful making their art, whether they sell it or do it for fun or for gifts. I agree. Um, Misty, I will check for the email in just a second. Actually, I can probably prop you up and check it real quick right here, right now. Lisa says, my favorite, yay airbrush. Jeff is so incredibly talented. I agree. Why I keep washing that out? I kind of... All right. Now it comes off. Hubby bought me a heat gun, but it goes by temp readings. What's a good temperature to go by? Not high or low, thanks. Judy, what's the low temp on your heat gun? Because doesn't yours have like a dial up as well? Jody says, but you look 14, Austin. How could it be 14 years ago? <laughs> I'm sure he took him to a free wall. Jeff doesn't do illegal tagging, by the way. Was it? Yeah, oh, it was? That's the free wall we're talking about. Oh, okay. So where he used to take him to airbrush? Nope. Spray paint. There's a, um, in Dallas, there is a wall that they, is. They still have it. I said there, there is a the wall. Anyways, it is meant for people to go and spray paint. It's not illegal. It's the wall is there for people to airbrush. Nope. Spray paint on. Oh my God. You've got to stop saying that. I can't. It's you a thing. Stop that. Jeff, would the cops call you a graffiti artist? No, they wouldn't. Because I don't do graffiti. He does murals. There's a big difference between a mural artist and a graffiti artist. Which is? Graffiti artists do illegal graffiti and they do graffiti. I don't do graffiti. I don't consider myself a graffiti artist. There's a big difference. I don't. All right. So a mural is, it's good. The shadows are really with, good. I love doing the negative stuff too. I know it looks good. Those negative ones really sell too. What if we did one where we like erased the and lines then and then only had the shadow? Just a hint. Yeah, yeah. just enough. Um, so a mural artist is a legal graffiti artist, kind of. A street artist, basically. Yeah, he's a street artist. Jeff, are those your new glasses? Unfortunately, no. no. I think we have to wait another Probably like three, days. three business days. Did somebody say, you took your kid graffitiing? No, they're like, your kid just ratted you out on nah. being a graffiti artist. Jeff has never done, that I know of, illegal graffiti. Like, when he does murals, he even makes sure the owners have proper paperwork. Yeah. For him to paint on exterior walls. Can you pour art resin outside my space and my rental is so small? I have a large 24 by 36 painting that I would want to cover, but don't have the room. That is the least amount of fun you can have with this stuff. I'm not sure what you're asking. Are you asking me to pour it for you? Which I could do. Rephrase the question. Yeah. Jody, um, I, everyone seems to have a just fine signal, I think. Let me know if I need to try to figure out what's going on. Frankie says that I'm actually awake and get to watch you. Bananas. Love you both. We love that all of you guys look forward to watching us. Like, you guys are our art, art fam. And oh. yes, Miss Erica Lee, we will be streaming later too. Bye, Clara. Tell me this. Who on here... I understand you guys get the little notification, like the little bell notification. But do you guys also... Uh, 
they follow us on Instagram or Facebook, you guys see the little, uh, what do you call it, before we're live. My little flyer. Your flyer? Um, they should see it if they're subscribed to those. Yeah, I just wonder if, if, if people get that and then they're like, okay, cool, they'll be on at this time. Hopefully they see them. That's, that's just what I wonder if people actually see it that follow us. Missy said, bye guys, I'll be back. The bell will toll when you roll. I love it. Shar says, man, Jeff is preserved. Who wouldn't guess that he has a 24 year old kid? It's true. I know Andrea, I'm, the wall here is great. There used to be two free walls, but now there is only the one. There, well, yeah, there used to be two before there was that one. It was called Hope Street, and this one, the one that me and Austin always went to, was called Ace Lot. Not there anymore. Not there. Marna it's says... There. It's still there. It's just a parking lot. But you, you can't, can't paint, paint on it. it. Marna says cops also don't like calling them artists. Or oh. graffiti. Taggers, that's a big difference. There's taggers, which those are graffiti, uh, a nuisance. <laughs> um, taggers, bombers, riders. Uh, taggers and riders are the ones you see on like the street lamps and the mailboxes and stickers and stuff like that. Um, Thanks for tuning in, Lori. A lot of times they, they get so good or they've been in trouble that they're tired of being in trouble and they're like, why don't I just get paid to do it and, and they get put in the gallery. They're good. This shadow is gonna look so good because I did it so subtle. Austin says, everyone asks if Jeff is my brother, not my dad, LMAO. <laughs> That's true. Well said, Lisa. Hey, Jan. I'm sorry it's not working, Jody. Austin, did you get moved today? I think he said earlier he was still at work, didn't he? Well, I didn't know if he moved earlier. Is he getting off of work? Is he moving? Amber, we love seeing you and Robbie here every day. No, sorry, can I do it outside? My space is so small. You can resin outside, just be very careful. Make sure it's not a windy day because yeah. if something flies into your piece and it's still wet, you can pull it out. But if it gets into the piece I and you don't catch it, here. then add one. Then um, you're gonna have to sand it down and here you go. You'll have to stand down and start over. There's too many over here. I'll put one over here. Idea says, man, I got a rep for graph writers. Y'all got it backwards. I don't think we got it backwards. They got it backwards. Do what? He, he got a rep for graph writing? He's got to rep for graph writers. Oh. There's such a difference. It can get confusing. People get email notifications and the dings. People follow on Facebook and. So what, what was his thing? What, what, what did he say? Who? Idea. What was his thing? What, what did he say? Oh, that he just needs to rep more for writers because people don't know. It's confusing if you're not like Oh, yeah. In you the get, biz. You, get, uh, you definitely get shit. If, because graffiti artists are really, you know, they're considered a nuisance. Which they are if they're tagging on people's... They use stuff. They use window etching stuff. And you know, things called mops, which they're just like bingo markers. They put it in there. And they'll do their, their tag on the window and it'll etch into the window. That's so shitty. So, <laughs> It's ruined, like, and that's, you know, they, they've done that to themselves and they made themselves a nuisance, but I understand graffiti writers. I'm, I mean, I've, 
I've grown up with him, I've lived with him. And that is an artist that is a, a <laughs> it's just in him and, they, and they'll get in trouble for doing it. That's how much they love it and <laughs> they don't care. Idea says I never see a flyer. I just know to tune in at nine. Most people follow us on all the platforms. Austin says he's about to leave work. I'll text y'all whenever I moved in. I have three other big old friends helping. Don't worry about okay, helping. Cool. Sounds good, buddy. I see the flyer on Facebook, but I said it so your posts are priority. That's awesome. Well, I'm just wondering if, the, if they work and if it gives people a heads up, you know, if they really want to come and check us out. Idea said a tagger is not a graffiti writer. That's true. Did I say it was a graffiti? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, he's not. He's a, he's a... Nuisance. A nuisance and a, uh, what they call them, they're called toys. And all they do is just repeat their name. And that's that's their main goal is to get up, which means to write their name as many places as possible, high up as possible, and in a difficult spot. Hi, Sherry. Fun fact, I did a pamphlet in like seventh grade on graffiti. And I did do illegal graffiti in seventh grade. <laughs> <laughs> a pamphlet. It was a pamphlet on how and when and what to use. Where? And, and where. But I only did a couple times because my brother Doug got caught when he went out by himself. <laughs> and I stopped. What is your favorite brand of resin? Jeff's favorite is Art Resin, even though he gets resin rash. Well, it, it's not true. Like, um, if it's a bigger piece with a lot of colors and I'm, I'm on the fence of what I want to do, I love our resin. If I know exactly what I want to do and it's a smaller piece, like this piece I use. Uh, Are you showing the mini? Yeah. That was East Coast, right? Yeah, East Coast resin. Um, and it's funny because I used our resin on the original big one because it's so many colors and I wasn't for sure what I was going to do because it sets up really fast. Then, yeah, if you have a plan, you're good with any kind of resin. If you're not really sure where you're going with it, Art Resin gives you a little bit more time to think about it. Could you describe what he is doing and the use of the knife? What is he trying to achieve? Okay, so here's what's happening. He is masking off certain areas that he doesn't wanna get paint on. We're gonna spray paint the lips a silver color and so we don't want it to be on the background, which has to stay white. And he doesn't want it on the teeth, which he's already airbrushed to look that way. So we have a masking paper on it. It's by contact. And he is using the knife. It's actually an X-Acto blade to cut out the shapes of the contact paper so that there are places protected from the spray paint and the other colors we're about to add. I hope that made sense, but that's what he's doing. See that paper he's pulling off? That's the excess. This is all protected. So now the teeth are protected and the white on the outside of the lips are gonna be protected. Actually, he's only got half of that done. You can see here, this side is protected. This side is not yet. It will be, he's about to do that part. And that's the good thing about this stuff is when you cut it off, keep these little parts when you're working on it because you can use them as, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to take this and make a small one and take the paper off. You have excess. And that's why I kept, where is it at? Oh yeah, I kept that over there and I kept that big one. You can use that big, the big. The lip shape. Lip shape there. He can cut Sometimes that up. you can't use it because there's spray paint on it, so it's, it's waste. But this is actually, you can use this. It's perfect for this part because it's at an angle. Frankie says you're a dead ringer for her husband without his hipster beard. <laughs> Jeff, what do you think about Banksy? Um, Banksy is, he's one of those very amazing 
creative. Uh, that is that is a one hundred percent graffiti street artist, <laughs> and he makes money off his shit. People make m a lots of money off his artwork. Um, he's very clever. He's very brave. I mean, he's he's fancy, man. He's he's the most sought after graffiti artist in the world. <laughs> and like nobody knows who he is. I'm waiting for the day that TMZ exposes like, Banksy. Yeah, like somebody's like, I got, I got him. Is that on me? How is that on me? Wow, that is a piece of. Do you have masking on there still? Yeah. That is scary. Well said, ideas. What did he say? He said, people think tagging is graph writing. Tag is just vandalism. Graph writing is technically... Vis oh, gra graph writing is also technically vandalizing, but they're a fantastic artist as well. Yeah, well, this is the thing. You got... There's, there's a couple different terms for graffiti writing and a tagger is the, the annoying one where he just puts his name as many times and in many places as he can and then you got the throw ups which are you get maybe two colors a little bit and then you got a bomb which is a big piece multicolor in a gnarly place and then a piece, and that's a, a piece that you most likely won't do in public. <laughs> hey, Ann, Dury, buddy. I said bye. Idea said I'm not arguing with Jeff at all. He is correct. I'm just trying to explain to the other viewers. Oh, no, we're not. I'm not saying that, bro. I'm not arguing. Denise is about ready to try out resin. You got this. Idea said I have anxiety issues. I would go buy paint and go do really nice sketches and then freeze. One time I actually threw up after starting. I didn't have a crew, so I had no one to help calm me down. He, he did what? He had a sketch done to go do a, I guess, a graffiti piece. Oh. And he went out there and, like, threw up. <laughs> Couldn't do it. Backed out. Didn't have a crew. It's funny. I, I love the idea of it, um, which is it's funny to me that... I guess just because I've, I've grown up with graffiti and, and I understand what it feels like and the whole adrenaline thing and people know your name, they don't know who you are. Um, but I, if I, I told myself if I ever did graffiti, it's going to be somewhere <laughs> where people are going to see it. And, I, and just that is just nerve wracking to me and there's no way that I could do it. <laughs> like I just, I couldn't do it. Do you recommend a certain type of contact paper? Yeah, um, we use a brand, Miss Erica, called Contact. Looks like this. I will leave a link in the description box of it. He said graph writing is really what got him into painting. Paula knows who Banksy is. That's because you're Paula Wall. Yeah, ideas we have seen exit through the gift shop. And I can tell you that. Bye, Shy. I think that guy is 100%. That little booby, the little, the little Italian little hacker. Oh my God, he, that that drove me insane as an artist. Which I would I would love this. I would hope that that was all fake. Like I would love that if it was fake. Um, but yeah, that was a, uh, that was a crazy documentary. A-G-A, -A or Aga, or Aga. I tell you one, one story, 
I wish Austin would have told this story. Me and Austin were painting at the, uh, at the free lot, and he was just a little guy, like still losing his teeth. And this young kid comes over, looking at the wall, like you can just walk up and look, it's a big parking lot. And he's like, I love all this work, you know, this is the, this is the scene down here, right? Like this is the place, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, well, I'm having an art show uh, a couple blocks up. You guys should come check it out. I was like, awesome, we'll definitely come. So me and Austin go to this art show and Austin loses a tooth during the art show and the art show was Shepherd Ferry, which is uh, the guy that did the Obama portrait and the Obey Giant stickers. And he was the one that invited me to the art show. That's awesome. Yeah. Erica, what paper is Jeff airbrushing on? Will you resin coat it once it's done or dried? Thanks. This, um, it's canvas. And the paper that we're using is a contact paper. And that's just to mask off different areas so that we don't get spray paint on it. And no, we are not resining this piece. Bye, Shy. Morning, Miss Carrie. 6 a.m. Anthony Reed said, Paul, I think Banksy's name is Rob. TMZ is going to expose him one day. I don't, I wouldn't doubt it. You guys, like, I. Hi, Ann. I mean, just imagine. Bye, Lisa. You know, having a shop and he comes and, and uh, he was just in New York City putting up little spots last year. Like if he does a piece on your wall and you're able to remove the said original piece without somebody messing it up, I mean, it's, I mean, it starts at around 30 grand just for something small. If it's, if he acknowledges that that's his artwork, if it's on his website, or his Instagram, it's, it skyrockets. Sear Bear said, I bought some cheaper contact paper and it curled when I sprayed over it. That will happen if you buy cheap contact paper or if you saturate contact paper too much. Yes, with spray paint or something. And it could be really thin too. And thin stuff is just meant for light paint, you know, light stick on, on, uh, what is that? Uh, the board that I, I used to use, hot or cold press. What is that called? Mm -mm, no idea. Art board. Just a, oh my God. Foam board? No. Um, oh, it's gonna drive me crazy now. Um, Illustration board. Woo! Frankie says apparently Banksy is from a British group called Massive Attack. Yeah. We're about to uncover Banksy just in our poor group. We're just going to piece it together. Hi, Sean. Cheryl says I love these family stories. Welcome, everybody that just joined. How many people we got? Um, right now we're at 102. Oh. Miss Erica Lee says the artist got sued over the Obama piece. Yeah, I know. No bueno. He still got famous over it. He got famous over his. He was. He was. Uh, Shepard Ferry was a wanted graffiti artist as well because he would do the Obey the Giant stickers. He didn't do. He didn't do graffiti. He did stickers, and that's still considered vandalism. Mm hmm. Um, he used like wallpaper paste and he'd just go up and just put them everywhere up in LA. Like they're everywhere. That's bananas. Yeah. Chrissy said it was said that Goldie outed him in an interview as Robert. Goldie Hahn? Goldie the DJ? We have so opposite like ideas of who Goldie is. You're probably way more accurate. Why would Goldie Hahn know about? Well, she might. Hi, Terry. Jessica said your subscribers are going so fast. You're at 8097 right now. Bananas. 
literally bananas. Um, I was just I was just showing Erica the other day, or yesterday, that our subscribers were at. We just hit five thousand, and it was April fourteenth. Mm hmm. <laughs> like a month ago. That's bananas. Thank you all for subscribing and taking time out of your, I'm sure, busy days to check in on us or tune in to learn something or just to see what's up. It's bananas. Y'all are bananas. Bananas, I say. Meh. Erica Lee said, unfortunately, he didn't get permission to use the photo and the photographer went after him. Tamara. Everybody wants some money. Um... A photographer sued Shepard Ferry, a graffiti artist, for using his photo of Obama, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Without permission. I, I don't know. Artwork. I guess if it's presidential and public. And, I mean, how can you tell if you if he used it if it's just a a side profile of him? Like, how many pictures are them of him? Billion, zillion. Idea says, way back in the day, a girlfriend from Rhode Island gave me a stack of original Andre the Giant stickers way before I knew who Shepard Fairy was. Of course, I didn't keep any. Sad face. <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much, Diane. Well, what about the, uh, and this is true. Hey, Kenny. Uh, Banksy made like, I don't know, 20, like, what size? Like, 20, like 24 by 24s, maybe some smallers, just spray painted, just made some simple stencils, just in black and white, had some older gentleman sit down next to him in Central Park and sell them for like 60 piece, $60 a piece, and like seven sold. And now they're, those pieces are like, they're worth at least 10 to like $20,000. And they paid sixty dollars for them. Bananas. Brenda said, "Come on, Jeff, you can't fool us with your blase chat about Banksy. It's you, isn't it?" <laughs> they got me. Hey, Rona. Anthony Reed said, eight thousand subscribers. We'll be at ten thousand by the end of the month. If y'all keep sharing and supporting us." on your other social media like you have, I wouldn't doubt it. And that would be amazing and bananas. Also, my oh, goal was to hit 10,000 by September. So hopefully. And we have it written down on our board over there. Mm -hmm. Idea said if anyone outed Banksy, I bet there would be a hit out on them. Oh, LOL. Would be bad. Frankie said, no, Goldie is a British actor slash rapper. That's what I said. DJ rapper. Whatever. He was in, uh, the fifth element. For real? Yes. Oh. Go for a walk. Thank you, Misty. What's up, Ticey? I hope so. John said it's exponential. Get ready for 20,000 by July. That would be bananas for sure, for sure. Neon Raven, that I live at SSOL and saw your sign outside your door earlier this year, became a subscriber. That's awesome. We have a neighbor on here. That's so rad. That's bananas. Are you an artist too? Leah said, thank you for show, sharing your art and showing us how to create beautiful artwork. It's our pleasure. Cheryl said, I'm able to make resin art that I can actually sell because now I know how to do it. That's amazing. That's what we're That's sharing for. Amy said, you make work so much better. <laughs> Thank you. Anne says, my internet is patchy. I'm walking around Walmart with my daughter and granddaughters while they shop. <laughs> We'll be on today, Anne, at 8 o'clock. I can't wait to do that Galaxy Pour. Like, I'm super stoked about it. Right. The Galaxy Pour is tonight. 
Diane said it's almost sippy sippy time. This is true. I know, and we have to go do something tonight. What are we doing? <laughs> the birthday party. That guy uh, that bought my artwork uh, that we're going to Vegas next month for. It's his actual birthday, and they have a plan for for Vegas for next month. Did you? July. Did I know about that? July. Tonight. Did I know? Not? He just told me that. Last night, I forgot. Kenny says, I think Del Monte should sponsor you, because bananas. Del Monte. Or what about Chica Bananas Lady? The Chiquita Banana Lady? Yeah, Chiquita Bananas. <laughs> Ms. Erica Lee said, remember us OGs when you get big. Y'all, we will always be the same us. This is fact. Always go. Is the brick outside of your window all paint? Basically, we actually repaint it every now and again. I know. It it's kind of, yeah, it's basically all black paint now. But um, we repaint it every once in a while. What's up, Greg? Do you have video of the red and black resin pour you guys have? I've been looking for it and can't find it. It is um, resin rose or something like that, Jen. I can't remember the exact name, but I will try to remember to link it in the description box of this video. Whenever you do something like this, always make sure all your corners and edges and tapered lines are down. Spray paint goes wherever the F it wants to go. Ideas, I checked out the musicians, Cruella, you guys have photos of on Facebook. They're awesome, aren't they? They put on a good show. I got up at 5 a.m. to prime canvas this morning. I've got the acrylic pouring bug. That's awesome. Show us what you pour. Diane, we will definitely let you know when we come to Vegas. We have to come for a birthday thing. How do you prevent getting all those tiny fibers in your resin pieces? I get them in mine every single time. We put them under this, oops, I'm getting caught on something, under this table to protect it from anything that may be floating around the studio. We turn all the fans and everything off and put it in our little protective area. I hope you guys can see that okay since I'm facing the windows. Do you own or rent? We rent for now. No, on the wall. You showed it in a previous video. It's a black corner and a red corner, and they meet in the middle. It's a black corner and a red corner and they meet in the middle. Not the one on the wall. You showed it in a previous video. I am stumped, Jen. Let me see if I can figure that out. Do you always store your spray paint sideways? Um, it doesn't really matter. We do it just to save space and so that we can see what colors we have because most of the tip, like the top are the color. It's just easier to go through them that way. Have you got hay fever? I have allergies. Le Mis Marie, we did this piece and we did a pour earlier. We only missed one pour. Tell them about this tip. Tell them about the tip. Yeah. Tell them. That is a removable tip. It's got an adapter on it because Rustoleum decided they don't want graffiti artists to have their paint to do graffiti. So they changed their caps and the piston. So this won't go into here. So you have to get a an adapter. Looks like that. The female end and the male end yeah. so that they'll line up. 
So that makes this the female end, that the male end, because the caps are all male ends. And if you want, if you want to paint like a big, <laughs> I've tried this. You could put this on here without a cap over it. And if you wanted to paint a big, <laughs> if you if you want to do graffiti on on something on your backyard, this will spray all the paint out of it. <laughs> right. Unless you, unless you put your cap in there. So remember, if you get these, put this on first, and then put it on the paint. John, that would be bananas. Frankie, I would totally love to do unicorn lips. It is on my to-do list. This is where I'm at on my, oops, caught up. My latest lip piece. It's work in progress, coming right along, however. Yeah, chrome paints bananas for sure. Miss Carrie says, Frankie, I'm obsessed with your daughter's obsession with unicorns. Cheryl said, I turned all of mine sideways because I saw most of yours are sideways. It doesn't really do anything one way or the other. It's just the most convenient way for us to store them and see all the colors that we have. Ideas, this is true. I still can't find the, cat, the can that cleans the caps. Just turn them upside down. Turn your can upside down when you're done using it and spray it till it runs clear and that should clean out most of what Except for these cans. is caught in your lines. The only thing is sometimes, hey Rusty, sometimes um, like with Rust-Oleum, they have all ways caps. So, I mean, always can. So if you spray it upside down, it's still not gonna clean anything out. So our remedy to that is put the cap on a regular can of spray paint that doesn't spray upside down and that cleans it out. Also, I have no idea what painting. Jen, do you remember how long ago you saw the, the painting? It's a black corner and red corner and they meet in the middle. So it's not any of these. Like nothing. What are you doing, little man? I'll find out. All right, so now, the fun part. Um, Anthony says, Jeff stops and starts the spray when changing direction. Is it better than keeping the spray on? Here's two reasons. One is when you change directions, you're gonna overlap a little bit, so that'll give one spot where you change directions extra spray paint there, right? So yeah. it's going to leave a dot where you well, stop and go back. For one, I stop. I don't like to continually do it because it's just wasting paint. And I, I, I get that from, I think, airbrushing too. Like when you're done, you just stop. You let your finger up. Um, if I'm doing it in a di different direction, it's probably because I don't want it to go a certain way or I just need it to go at that spot. It's just one of those on this, that doesn't matter because this is going to co get covered with glitter. Mm -hmm. All right, so. And it saves paint. I don't know if you said that. I was busy with 
Patrol. Do you flame it? I'm gonna try spray paint for the first time in a few minutes for my purple lupus pour along with Mehron Gold, Jacquard Purple, and I need another color, any ideas? I'm always a fan of teal and purple together. Megan wants to know how we find enough hours in the day. Uh, oh this is what we do, it's our job. We love it. Was it the half and half painting? I don't know, Dan. Maybe Jen could let us know. Sierra Bear said, oh my God, your apartment looks like heaven. We love it, it's home. I know, I need a tissue bad. I need to take some more allergy medicine. Mm -hmm. Jackie, no worries. We'll be on tonight again as well. Brenda said, poof, Jeff. Yeah. Google Banksy bananas. Sonia says, Eric, I'm, go I'm going as I spend far too much time watching you guys. Thanks for sharing. You both rock my world. Love your arting night night. Night, Sonia. Have a good night. Frankie wants to know if we've ever done a resin pour on lips. We're going to test a, our waterfall technique on a lip piece. I did do a pour one time that I like drew out the lip shape and left the color of the lips to be the pour. It was interesting. It sold. It sold. It's real nice. Got it from Target. It's on sale. Did Rocky Horror give you the lips idea? No. Um, I just always liked the shape of Like lips are just classic. Love it. Love how a woman's lips look. So, um, I painted one once and they sold. So I painted another one and it sold. And so now I paint them all the time. Andrea, what he's spraying right now, this stuff is glue. It's by 3M. Um, where is it? So that's what's gonna make the, uh, the glitter stick. Hi, Rick. Amber said, I had you guys on my Bluetooth speaker while I was showering. That's dedication. That is dedication. Do you guys ever get high with the fumes? No, we have enough ventilation and Jeff's wearing... Um, a I'm respirator. Jackie went to bed at 5 a.m. Dreaming purple everywhere. That's awesome. I hope you decide to do um, the lupus pour. You need, you have a bald spot right here. Okay. Are you gonna use the extra fine? I know there are a lot of trolls on. It is what it is. Trolls? Yeah, I've put out three so far, I think. During the daytime. Leslie says, wow, that's a lot of glitter. It is, but we try to...
preserve as much as that like we can when we shake all the glitter off. Love your studio, definitely studio goals. We try. Rainbow glitter would be fabulous. I agree. It'll be on my definite to-do list. So right now he's pressing down the glitter to make sure as much sticks to the canvas as possible. And then we'll shake off um, the excess. Amber, that's hilarious. Rick, you should totally get into pouring. It's amazing. Do you need gloves? Trolls are like squirrels in the park. Just don't feed them. This is true. So we have a couple caps. No, it's like half of them. So because our canvas is white and we don't want to get anything on it, Jeff is getting some rags. Shout out to your fan, Peter File. Hold on, Moo. So we're catching all the glitter down there so I can put it back in our glitter jar. He's thumping the back of the canvas to keep knocking off any excess as much as possible. Yeah, hold on. What moo? Don't peel that off yet. I got to take care of the boy. And this one? Okay. Go lay down. Thank you, Diane. Can you vacuum off the loose glitter? Probably, no. I, I just, I don't want it in my vacuum cleaner, but it's possible. Nikki, he is a Pomeranian, a spoiled little Pomeranian. That's truly it. What's up, Laura? How are you? It's true, he is spoiled. So now that we have all that done, we can peel off the masking. Adorable, I just not see him with such pretty markings. He's unique. He's definitely something else. I just love him to death. Ellen, you could do that, you could definitely have a vacuum to reuse glitter it's so funny people think he well he's so, so he's so unique that people don't think that he's a real palm they're like that's not a real pomeranian what's he mixed <laughs> with that worked huh so that didn't work out quite well, I, I should have put it towards the end but it worked because now i can see it and i can I don't suggest use exacto blade for that. I know glitter is the herpes of the art world. It will get all the places. It's true. You'll find it years later. Not even know. You gonna pick up it? Yeah, you gotta need them. Okay. Yes, he is a Merle. 
Maybe he needs a resin pour tag on his collar. He doesn't have a collar because he's got too much hair and it would get matted. Um, but he's microchipped and all that, so. He just loves that chicken jerky. Yeah, he loves it about 80% through and then he gets rid of it everywhere. <laughs> Leslie said she just picked up her dog from the groomer and she has a bald spot from where she got into my studio and resin dripped on her head. Oh, Poor no. baby. That's what I always worry about. And that's, I wanted to get a kitten a while back. And I'm like, man, if I got a kitten, you never know what you'd wake up to. Cat hair and then a little baby kitten just stuck in your resin. Right. I don't think I'd like that too much. No. Um, have you ever done resin pour on glass? Lynn, not yet. It's in, it's in the works. Amy says he's as big as my dog's head. I've heard that a lot. Yeah. What? Blowing. I know, you could just get a big fan brush. No, but it just knocks it off. The only thing is... I'm gonna have the airbrush on here. True, Judy. I think we should just Cats have set. no boundaries. I wanna, them, I wanna let them all set. Before you do the airbrush stuff? Yeah, because I always do it right after. And I feel like it knocks it off more. Because I, because I have to do it, you know, give it some shadow. The only thing I don't want to do is because it's a white background. That's why we charge a little bit more for white backgrounds. Because it's such a, it's so, so tedious and you have to really watch out what you're doing. With a black background, no problem. Yeah. And especially when you get, because you have airbrush, you can't just, if you get a thumbprint on it, you can't just paint over it because airbrush, you paint over it, that'll be white, and then when you put airbrush back over it, whatever's airbrush is gonna continue to get darker. So you'll be able to see it, and it's ruined, basically. Yeah, Nikki, that, it wasn't um, a sealant. We knock off as much glitter as possible. Get your phone. And then, um, That way, nothing's going to fall off unless um, someone, like, touches it. it. It won't come off. So, that's what it looks like so far. And then we're going to add some... Show them the drips. We're going to add some... Back part. He's got to add more airbrushing to give the shape some more definition. And then also, I'll add some Swarovskis in it to make it extra sparkly. Sparkles. Welcome, Tandy. Would you not seal the glitter in? Here's the thing, um, no. You got 25 bucks for Molly. That's awesome. The thing about sealing it in, I bought a glitter sealer from rust but it dulls out this stuff. It dulls the glitter. So that's a fail. I could resin the entire piece to seal it in. However, she did not pay for resin sealant, because that would jump the cost a couple hundred bucks. I so. Don't know how that would look. I think you would have to tape the sides off and make like a big, old, thick reservoir. Like I don't think that would look right. I think it would look smushed together. In summation, we use really heavy duty, like spray adhesive. So, 
it's on there. And we'll let it sit for a while and then he'll airbrush it. And then he'll take the airbrush gun again and just regular air blow well, we'll what he some, can we'll off. Some, a little bit of detail right here just to give the lips a little shadow and a little detail. Shadow where the drips are. Morning, Justine. Paula Wall got a sample kit of Ligari resin in the mail. Awesome. I didn't know they did sample kits. Alright. Should we do a four? You wanna do a four bit? Um E, who are your two favorite artists? Jeff not included. These are for these guys. I have so many favorite artists. Ooh. Jackie asked, is that your mouth? I mean, from a photo of you. Um, no. <laughs> because <laughs> I'm your muse. It's not. I, I just found a, a lip that. shape. I always ask her to do it. She can't. You're talking about a snarl. Oh, well, I've never seen you do that either. Uh-huh. So, oh, okay. Um, it's just from a photo I found online. Could Jeff spray a clear coat on it to seal it? Um, no. Dun, 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 Bananas, bananas, bananas. Bananas. Um, we don't want to dull the glitter. I could do a resin coat. That's about it in terms of sealants that I found that won't dull any of the sparkle. Yes, those are the coasters from yesterday. Andrea said, I want one of the coasters from yesterday, the one with white. Got it. Let me just put it. Andrea said what? She wants this one. Just put it with her pile. This is, uh... Andrea Morin. This is for... I think this is for that one. I think. No, she got that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait. Where's Andrea's pile? Just put her name on the back of it. I'll find. I'll remember. Oh, Andrea's pile is this one. Yep. We're gonna make a stand. So. I know Kudo's a cutie. If available, I sent an email earlier and asked about one of those from last night, adding it to my order. Just held up the ones I meant. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got you. Were those coasters made on resin wood? Resin or wood? These are the paper coasters that we've been using lately. It's how we finish the back before we do the poly coat. These are the paper ones that I've been linking yesterday by Inkfish and Company. This is their label. I've shared a link so to these. The I know we need to take a day and finish the back of like all of those and send them out. Right, they're compressed paper. Um, to finish the bottom of the coasters, we use spray paint and then we're going to seal them with polycrylic. Um, this is because it is paper and if there's condensation, I don't want it to get under the coaster and damage it. Yes, you can peel resin off of this black tarp is why we have it everywhere. Uh, somebody, it's the somebody same as down here. Somebody commented and said that she didn't think that that was a black tarp um, because it was too smooth and normally the tarps are wrinkled. And the answer to that is, I, if you can see these tapes, I cut this for the perfect size of this, cut it out, 
and then put tape and stretched it, put it on both ends and just kind of stretch it until it got smooth like this and then put one big piece of tape on it. Yes. Yeah. That is the black tarp we use. She, she went and got Thanks, black Nikki. trash bags or something and tried it. Why would a trash bag go smoother than a tarp? That is just somebody that said that. So that's why I'm, if she's watching, that's what I'm... Shout know. out to Hugh. He recommended you guys. Awesome, Raphael. Yep, this is what you miss, beyond. But we are going to be on again in a few hours at our regularly scheduled time, which is four hours from now. Huh? Oh, we did. So four hours from now, we'll be back. Um, he's going to finish this up, and we're going to do the, nope, Galaxy Pour. I don't know where the board is. And then this is, I don't know if you were here for the... Lady Susan, we did, but this is good. how she turned out. Will look much better in the light. I think that with this East Coast resin, you could, I think you could probably put, uh, I would wait about, I'd wait about two more hours. You could put a flood coat over that without having to sand it. That would be amazing. And then it would just really flood it. Hey, what happened to this piece? That's my, um, this wasting? that was the eyeshadow one. Ah, Raphael was a troll. That's funny. This was the eyeshadow stuff? Yeah, that was the eyeshadow one. What is this? Is this purple rain? Yeah. Oh. It needed depth. Huh. Mess. Um, I've noticed sometimes you prep your canvases with kills. Why do you do that? Um, I personally don't like to use kills because it's very thin, which blows my mind because you're supposed to be able to put a stain, put it, and you can still see it. So then I thought, okay, well, I guess that just seals it. And then I put... A matte, another kind of just regular matte house paint over it, and you can still see it, which I don't get. Maybe if you, I normally just use uh, regular house paint, just uh, matte, flat house paint white because it's thick and it it gives their canvas a nice smooth surface and it tightens up the canvas. It's what we use instead of gesso. Why don't you use freezer paper where you rest your paintings? A big roll must be cheaper than wax paper. Uh, we'll look into that, Ellen. Thank you oh, for the heads it? up. Freezer paper? I don't know. What, what is the difference? Apparently it's cheaper. Same thing, but cheaper. Cheaper than wax paper? Apparently. I got that wax paper for $1.50 today at the dollar store. <laughs> Maybe it is cheaper. We'll look into it. Thank you for the heads up. Yes, thank you. Alright, y'all. We're going to finish that tonight. We're going to do the Galaxy Pour tonight as well. If you have... Parchment's good too, Megan. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or shoot us an email at thornnetartisttilldeath.com. Two T's, two L's. Um, if you're interested in any of the artwork, shoot us an email as well. Let us know what's up. Um... Something. Oh, yeah. If you want to participate in the lupus test. I just went back and scrolled. I asked her if it was the rose, but she said no. If you're interested in doing the lupus competition, um, hashtag us at hashtag ATDART and, and lupus. Or hashtag lupus and our hashtag so that we can find it. You have till the end of the month. We'll pick our three favorites and... You'll get a free set of sticks. You can also email us to show us your lupus pour. I'm sure there's other stuff I should say, but I can't remember right now. We'll see you all in about four hours to do a pour again. And you're all bananas for giving us so much love and support, right? Right. Yeah, they're amazing. Now we got to go to FedEx and ship some stuff. Some yeah. Bye. I said bye.